Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm here to share with you what I've been working on lately, which is an altered spoon. Um, I've never done an altered spoon, and I had it on my crafty bucket list, so I hosted an altered spoon swap in my Facebook group. And then I found a four pack of these spoons um, at Walmart for like 97 cents, and I spray painted them white, and they're very... Um, easy to bend and mold into um, a shape that you might want. So I really enjoyed these that I, I enjoyed these so much that I made three of them. So <laughs> the first one I created, <gasps> well, you know, I have a thing for these shabby bits. So I made a shabby chic nest on my spoon <laughs> and added um, a cute little bird that I got at Hobby Lobby to that and then a nice cluster of um, fabric roses and then some pearl garland and then I added a piece of lace trim down the spoon handle and some pearls with bling and then I added um, a dangle applique and then I put this piece of bling on top and I know my lighting isn't the greatest but I will have better pictures at the end of this video so that is the first one I created and I had such a fun time. I love the way it turned out and I did bend it up in the middle so that it would lay nice when you set it down. So, um, you know, cause that one's made to sit down. Also the second one, oh, I still got glue strings. I made a spoon pin cushion. Like I, it's, it's too cute. It turned out so so cute. I wrapped the whole spoon in silk sari ribbon um, and then I created the pin cushion and I added this fabric image over the little pin cushion that I made and then I just put some trim around it and some uh, ruffled eyelet which I love the color of this eyelet lace. Eyelet lace is my fave and then I just added a doily to the back and I bent this one also uh, the handle so that it would lay um, nicely and it does and I just added some flat back pearls to the uh, handle and then this um, vintage bling here and then I made a silk sari ribbon bow and then I added some bling which I'm sure it won't focus will it will it focus well there it is it's totally cute and adorable and of course I will have pictures so that you can get a better look at it. I love how this turned out. Like I could see myself making a few more of these pin cushion spoons because adorable. So the one that I made for my swap partner is really special to me because uh, for the first time in my Facebook group, uh, my cousin decided to participate in a swap. I was like, okay, cool. So uh, since it was her first swap, I went ahead and made her my partner and I decided I was going to personalize her spoon and this is what I created for her because that picture of that beautiful girl is our granny when she was 16 and granny is now 94 years old and I thought <laughs> how special it would be to create um, a spoon for her that had our our granny in it. So I'm, I'm very excited. I really love how it turned out. There's so many details um, on the spoon. And of course, I'll have pictures at the end. I did put a doily on the back and I made this one to hang. It's the only one that hangs. So I did make it to hang and it has tons of bling. And I actually, even though you can't tell, but I I decoupage the whole spoon in um, book paper, but it, that's barely peeking through now. <laughs> and um, that's actually a fabric image. I printed out uh, Granny's picture on fabric because it was just easier for me to mold to the spoon. And I did put felt behind it also. And then I added like, which I, I'm sure you can't see, but there's little tiny like heart confetti and it's sparkly all on the inside of there so cute and just layers of lace so i'm very 
excited about this and how it turned out. And I can't wait to share it with her. And I had a blast doing these spoons. This was so much fun. And I have one more spoon to go, which I haven't decided about. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I hope that you like them. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. And there's also a link to my Facebook group below if you want to join in. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.